Hey guys, it's Nate. It's been a while, nearly a year now, I think, yeah, like a few days until it's been an entire year since I was gone, but, you know, I'm back and I have something pretty cool to show you. So, uh, today I have with you a dial combination lock in Minecraft. I'm pretty proud of this, uh, and while the, the, this version specifically only works in 1.16 because of the red coder, I originally designed this in 1.15 with the traditional red coder, which still fits in this spot. So this does work in basically any version after Observer, though I haven't specifically tested it, I'm pretty sure it will. The, the way you interface with it is that there's this dial, and you spin it around to a number, and there's a sound each time a number's input. This sound is comes from this note block. Obviously it's not necessary, but it doesn't give off any information and it looks nicer. Over here is the map of how this contraption is built in a much nicer, uh, cleaner way of showing. So we start over here at the input, which goes to the new selection differentiator and the red coder, which was changed to 1.16, I already went over that. Um, from the new selection differentiator, we have the input speed test, which is completely unrelated. Uh, it's just to show you that there are five redstone ticks during the waiting period, which is half a second, which is caused by this compare route. So this isn't necessary and the yellow can just be taken out if you want to. And then uh, with, along with the yellow, there's the selection array pusher, which is triggered by the redstone block. And it's what pushes the storage array. So from the, it's from the red coder, it goes to the signal map. And the signal mapper is something that you'll have to actually know redstone to do because it does require some original thought put into the wiring for each different combination. And from that, you have the selection array storage, which is added to by the signal mapper and pushed by the selection array pusher. And then from there, it's read by the storage reader and there's an output if the storage reader finds a match, which leads to this door, which is just an example and it doesn't need to be there. This output can lead to anything. So from this map, uh, I, here's the, you know, three dimensional version. We have the input, new signal differentiator, selection array pusher, red coder, signal mapper, selection array, and reader. So yeah, this array, I had to uh, just design specifically for this. I may design a better red coder and have a new video on that. I do know that the red coders are broken. That's why you have to change this in older versions. So this is the part that you need uh, actual redstone knowledge to do. I mean, you don't need that much, but you still need knowledge somewhat. You don't need this block. Don't know why that was there. So yeah, there's this space where you need to map these numbers to this array because these can't be all next to each other because of the way the signals pushed. I tried with comparator storage, but it ended up being larger than this. So this is basically the best I can get. While this version specifically only has four combinations, it, you can very easily add five, six, you know, basically an, an infinite amount. Well, no, not necessarily infinite, but a very large amount. The reason it can't be infinite is because the signal strength down here needs to be a certain amount. This signal is too far for uh, signal strength 6, but if you reorganize this to have the redstone torches further down, like here, then it won't matter. And so uh, the way this works is you get this signal strength from the item frame, and each time this observer is pressed, it feeds into this comparator clock, which will, and so it will refresh each time an input is given until it runs out, and then pull back in and trigger the array pusher. And so there's not actually anything that blocks uh, this from being there. Well, except for this, which isn't there on the 1.15 version. But this doesn't actually matter because of this. So I'm not going to bother trying to compact this more unless I make another video designing one of these. I chose uh, 4751 to show that you can have signals on both sides and also right next to each other. You, you can probably also have three next to each other, but I mean, I don't recommend 
having 1234 as your passcode, and I'm not going to bother to set that up because that's a really dumb passcode. If you found it necessary, uh, you could extend this area and just shift this entire section forwards. So originally I was going to have a reset circuit, so once you missed 4, then it would reset and refresh, and I actually got it uh, nearly working, but I realized that it's really not that useful, because let's be fair, it's Minecraft, nobody's gonna actually brute force this, and it's also just annoying, because you have to, if, if you mess up a combination, which is totally possible with this item frame system, then it's just like, you have to click it three more times or two more times, so it'll reset and go through the reset mechanism, and it's just a less user-friendly process. These many combinations are perfectly fine. The order uh, the co of these combinations is d determined by these redstone signals. If you wanted to have like several of the same number, you could uh, just, you know, do this on the same axis and then that'll work. So you can have multiple of the same. This yellow is completely unnecessary, it's it's just a maintenance circuit. These green go off to the line and just uh, just an AND gate, basically, for AND gate. And this just leads off into the door and also this little note block. Originally, I designed a double piston extender downwards facing that's less than flush specifically for this purpose. But I ended up not even needing it because I'm stupid and now there's just a four high room back there when it's just totally unnecessary but i i might do a tutorial on this because it is pretty cool these command blocks by the way are entirely for the opening skit they're not used in any in any way except to do this i'll leave a link to a structure file for both the 1.15 version and the 1.16 version uh, in the in the description, uh, the 1.15 version will most likely work with any version up until uh, observers are introduced. Actually, there's also honey right here, but that's not actually needed for the actual uh, combination lock. That's just for that door, so it doesn't really count. But yeah, I'll leave that in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you like this video, like it. If you want more of this content, subscribe and. Uh, I'll see you guys the next time I upload a video. I don't know how long it'll be. A. I hope it'll be soon. Alright, bye. The real combination lock is the friends we made along the way.